Hi, this is David McCam for WebTNG. This video, I'm taking a look at a free plugin called Edit Custom Fields. You've probably noticed that plugins and themes are now using custom fields for saving preferences and settings. Often these are saved on a page-by-page -page basis when you use a special feature of a theme or when, for example, your SEO plugin saves some metadata about a post. There's nothing wrong with this practice, but over time, as you switch themes and change the plugins you use, these old fields get left behind. If you like the video, please subscribe. It helps to spread the word about the channel. I imagine over time, these orphan custom fields could slow down the loading of pages, or maybe I'm just a little finicky but I like to periodically clean up this type of thing. Up to now, I've used SQL queries or maybe even a tool like WP Sheet Editor, but recently I found a free plugin that's a real time saver. It's called Edit Custom Fields, and this is the page for Edit Custom Fields on the WordPress plugin directory. It looks like it has a low version and it only has like a thousand plus active installs, but don't let this fool you. The plugin's been around for a long time and this kind of plugin is a maintenance plugin. Once you use it to clean up the custom fields, then you don't need it anymore and you would uninstall it. Okay, you can see it's got nine five-star reviews and one four-star review. This is a website I've had that's been around for a while. I've used several different themes with it and a number of different plugins. And so this is going to be the website where I demo edit custom fields for you. Now, don't worry because I did take a backup of the website before starting the video and I tested the plugin out on a staging version beforehand. So I'm pretty confident how it's going to work. Right, so now let's go and install the plugin. Here it is. I'll activate it. And if we go look under tools, here it is, edit custom fields. You can see that there is quite a list here. And right off, the first thing I see is it's got toolset post editor mode. Okay, I haven't used toolset on this site for a couple of years. But you see there are 30 posts that have this custom field. AST featured image, that's Astra. So some of these fields, when I look at them, I may not know what plugin or theme or what it's used for. So in those cases, I'm just going to ignore it and maybe later on I can research it or come back if I want to clean it up more. These are, for example, WPCF. Those are the toolset custom fields. Let's start. I'm going to go through the ones that I'm certain, like the toolset, the Astra. This is the Page Builder Framework theme, which I haven't used on the site for a while. These are the tool set custom fields that are no longer used. This is uh, Ultimate Add-on for Gutenberg. I'm not using that on the site either. I'm using Cadence. Bloxy, I'm not using that theme here now. Okay, I do have WP Code Box installed. So that's what I'm going to do here. Now, when I click delete, we go to a warning screen here and it's letting you know that this is going to be irrevocably delete. There's no going back. Edit custom fields is a power tool always use a backup and if you're uncertain then better not to use it so here for example we have tool set post edit mode and it's saying whether it's a block or classic editor here we have the astra title bar displayed featured image tool set post content before gutenberg page builder framework premium 
options. Okay. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. And we definitely want to delete these. Now, there's one other thing I wanted to show you. And that is that there is an option here also to rename custom fields. If we look at rename custom fields, then you can give it a new name. Now, if you've attached a custom field to, to output it in a block or with your page builder, Elementor, or in a template, and you rename it, you may have to go and reattach it. And again, this is a power tool. It's best to test this out first on a staging or test site so you can make sure it's working the way you think it is. This is the quick look at the free plugin, Edit Custom Fields. It's created by Jay Sitter. So I was pretty pleased with this plugin. I think it's a real time saver. There's a text version of the video available on the WebTNG website. I hope you found the video interesting. Thank you for watching.